Hi everyone, so the snails laid some eggs again recently. They laid uh, 355, so that's a couple of snails. What I wanted to try doing was candling them so I could see what was inside. Um, so as you can see here, you can see the cells that have divided inside the egg as they are fertilized. Um, so I thought it was quite interesting to see how many eggs had started to divide, um, what they looked like inside when they started to divide. So as you can see, this one's got quite a few, um, that had quite a few cells, that one did. Now, obviously, if you're going to um, get these um, eggs to hatch, you wouldn't obviously touch them with your fingers, but my snails lay about 350 eggs every few weeks or every month, so I'm not keeping these. So before I froze them um, to destroy them, um, I thought I would candle them just to see if you could candle um, snail eggs. So what I did, I took my old mobile phone and put the um, torch on. And then I got a piece of cardboard and put a small pinhole in it, um, about the size of, well, it wasn't a pinhole, it was a little bit bigger than a pinhole, about the size of the tip of a pencil. And that stopped me from blinding myself with the uh, torch light from the phone, which obviously was the first problem. Um, and also it focused the light so it just went into the egg. So as you can see, there's the hole in the cardboard. And I found this worked perfectly. So what I've, I'm doing here is obviously I'm using the torch off my old phone. And then I'm using my current phone and zooming into the max so I can see what's inside the egg. So as you can see, some eggs have got larger cells inside them and different little sort of patches of light and dark. And then some some eggs had like large groups of cells. Now I don't know exactly how snails develop in the egg. I'm assuming the more cells uh, the better because obviously the cells need to divide but then obviously I don't know if it changes over time like because obviously at some point it's going to become one snail in it um so yeah but it's quite interesting to see how some had just got like one large cell and a couple little ones and then some had got like several cells um dividing inside and you'll see later on in the footage there's a couple where as i turn the egg you can see the um cells floating around inside um i just thought it was really interesting and it's obviously an easy way of seeing whether the eggs are fertilised or not. If, say, you've got, like, um, a group of eggs that you're going to keep, um, then you could find out whether they are fertilised or not. So, yeah, and then, obviously, as you can see, some eggs haven't got a lot going on, although this one got, like, a slight sort of mark in it. And, and some were, like... There was nothing that I could particularly see. Now, obviously, these eggs were laid over the course of a week. So it could be that the first one batch were laid earlier in the week, meaning the cells have divided more and they've been fertilised. And then the other ones could have been laid uh, the last couple of days because I know um, Alvin burrowed um, slightly for a couple of days. And he didn't go too far down, so I thought, oh, I bet he ain't laying any eggs this time. No, I was wrong. There was 200 eggs where he was laying, so Alvin's been busy. And then someone else underneath, like, because I wondered why um, Alvin had laid eggs near the surface, because he doesn't normally do that. He normally goes right down to the bottom of the tank. Because I've got, like, it's about 8 inches of soil in there, um, the co cocoa fibre soil. Um, and he normally goes right to the bottom because normally I look under, under the tank and I can see the eggs right next to the glass at the bottom. But it turns out where Alvin had chose to lay eggs, about four inches down, there was another clutch. So that's why he laid them near the surface. Because um, I thought, oh, if he hasn't buried very far, he's not laying any eggs. Well, no, he was. So they've been given extra food to boost them up. Um... I have never seen them eat snail mix so quickly because um, what I did this time is I put the snail mix in and normally Rick does dominate the snail mix first 
Um, but so I put the babies by the snail mix. The, well, I put Alvin, Simon, and Theodore and Morty by the snail mix, and Rick at the other end of the cage. Within ten minutes, all the snail mix was gone. So I'm going to give them some, some more. Um, and then obviously they're having all extra. I mean, they have veggies anyway, but I'm giving them extra food so that they can eat what they want. So I put basically a big bag of mixed salad leaves and carrots and sweet corn and stuff in, um, and they've eaten most, all almost half of it. Um, and obviously they're getting down the cuttlefish because obviously they're really putting the calcium into their bodies. Um, but yeah, they're doing uh, they're doing all right. This one, as you can see, every time I turn the egg, can you see the little cells float to the top? I thought that was quite interesting. If I can get it still. And then because the, there was somewhere like. When I rock, when the egg turned over, you could see the cells moving in the um, the white of the egg. So I thought that was quite interesting as well. But yeah, I thought this was a good way. Like, I mean, obviously, if you're going to want your snail eggs to hatch, which obviously I wouldn't recommend because you're going to have like loads. Um, there are there's some cells that float around. Obviously, this is a good way of seeing which eggs are fertile, fertilized or not. Um, and what I'll do is I'll try and get some more footage of some eggs to see how it how they change over time. Um, but obviously I'm not keeping any at the moment, so I'll do that at some point later on. Because um, I've got obviously the babies that I've got at the moment, which are December, January, three months old nearly. Um, so I'm just focusing on those at the minute. Well, I just thought this was really interesting. It'd be interesting to see how the look of the cells changes as the snail develops in the egg. Because obviously you won't be able to see the shell, but you can see the foot of the snail as it develops. Because um, the shells are transparent when they first hatch. Pretty, pretty much. Not completely transparent, but pretty much. So, yeah, just thought this would be really interesting. I found it fascinating. Um... And I like getting, I like finding out stuff like this. So, so yeah, I, th I thought this would be a good way of finding out um, how many eggs are fertilised in a batch. Um, normally, it's pretty much, you can pretty much guarantee they're all fertilised, but then you'll get, you won't get all of them hatched necessarily. At the end, you can see some really good photos. So, you can see a couple of eggs have got like quite a lot of cells in them. Um... So yeah, hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.